All right, today we are installing an April Air humidifier, my 400M that I've had for about a year maybe at this point. Uh, I started using this lovely template and a level and a marker to mark out where I want to put this bad boy on our um, heating duct here. It, originally I had it square, so it was gonna start and come over, but when I actually put the humidifier up here and measured with the ducting, uh, these little guys wouldn't clear the corner. There wasn't quite enough room, so I had to offset it a few inches before, like I said, I had it um, just kind of centered on the duct, but that's not going to work. So I went ahead and moved it, offset it, I think two and a half inches or so, um, and then squared it up with the level, which you can kind of tell is not exactly <laughs> not exactly square with the duct, but that doesn't surprise me. There's a lot of stuff in this house that when you actually level it is not uh, square with the house. So whatever, not a huge deal. But now I'm to the point where I'm going to start cutting. Of course, I have to disable this first. Well, actually, I guess I don't have to disable that, do I? Because I'm only cutting in the return where it's sucking air in. So I guess I could probably just, you know, let it do its thing. Keep the house warm. I'm going to start cutting. I think I have to go uh, acquire some more PVC for this, which I don't know. You can kind of tell from here, from this view, that it's going to be a little bit higher than where the bottom, probably where the actual return for the water is on here, or the drain, I should say, right there. So I might have to re-architect this thing a little bit, maybe just have a T here so that I can come down and then over maybe at a little bit of an angle or whatever to drain. I need a new drain because that stuff is cracked. You can see it kind of leaks water there. And then I also need a water line because luckily the old refrigerator that we just moved out or are moving out had this water line here. So I'm going to use this. The problem is, of course, it's probably a good 50 feet away from <laughs> where, the, uh, where the humidifier is. And I don't want to put another valve in. Uh, saddle valves like that are not you know, the most reliable of valves, but I'll just run it over and call it good, I guess. So far, my major takeaway is I need better tools. That was not fun. So as you can see, I'm going to have to do a bit of... Uh, metal tape work <laughs> things have gone maybe not poorly exactly but not you know as well as uh, as a professional installer would do uh, that said I do have two screws in right now and I did that so I could set it level within the little frame that I cut out so at least we've got that so far we've got it level and it's on there I'm gonna have to pull it off again I believe to put in the screws for the 90 degree it's gonna go around the side well actually if it's just top and bottom I suppose I can do it myself but yeah. so, it's getting there update it is now completely screwed in that is all six of the self tapping screws that I picked up are in and would you look at that I didn't completely fuck it up it actually looks you know, level. I was able to get the top one on, bottom one's not on, but I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, go around back here, cut that out, and, um, well, maybe not cut it out, but at least put these parts together and see where it lands on there. Um, this is the part that's gonna go into the supply side, I guess, or return side, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how this works, but I'm gonna make sure it doesn't look like absolute ass and then cut it out and put this stuff all together. So at least the duct work is done. Then I just need to figure out water and electric, which, you know, the easy parts. I was able to actually get this mounted up and it does work and comes to right about here. So, you know, not, not terrible, I guess. It's not exactly centered, but um, what are you gonna do? So here, of course, is the issue. This guy is smooth on this side to hook into that, but ruffled on this side to hook into something else. So is this guy. So. Hmm, what do I do now? So this is my ingenious way to measure how much of this water line I need. And it looks like about 18 feet, so we'll see if I can get like a 20 
for 25 foot kid. <laughs> it's just hooked around the corner there. We went out and had dinner and did a bunch of running around in town, so I didn't get a whole lot further, but I put the filter in, which is important. More importantly, I got the water figured out. I know I had previously thought about doing a 90-90 and then over, and having this corner here um, actually turn into like a you know, T with three of them, but couldn't find the right part that I needed. And then I was like, hey, I'm lazy, so why not just go straight down and have it join up with the other water exhaust thing, the other water line. And that whole line needed to be replaced anyway, so. I got this thing, I don't remember what it's called, but I got it. That should clamp those two pieces together that I got. I also have a new water line. A whole, I think it's 25 feet was like this, not the smallest, but the closest to what I need, so tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there too. And then I should run the rest of the vent ducting tomorrow as well. Then the only thing left to figure out is the electric, which seems to be the most complicated part of this, so we'll see how that goes. But this is where I am end of day one with a whole of, I don't know, maybe two hours worth of work in? Maybe two and a half, whatever. But yeah, getting there.